up you guys welcome back to the channel in this video I quickly wanted to run through and show you guys the new build um, I did reveal this on my Instagram a few weeks back I've been waiting for some good weather but so I decided to do it now anyways to start off this is an N55 535i F10 drives really nice this is definitely the heaviest and biggest car I've owned so far um, I did already get it lowered on some springs. I was initially thinking of doing coilovers, but I do have the EDC. So I decided to go with just springs for now. And the ride and comfort is, if not better than OEM. So I'm very happy with that. And it is equipped with the M Sport package. It does come with these nice 19 inch wheels which look great on this. So it does have full bolt-ons. Um, I did put this AFE intake in it myself. It does have charge pipe, intercooler, um, as well as VRFS downpipes, so it sounds pretty good. I will be doing an MHD Stage 2 Plus tune in the upcoming videos, as well as an XHP transmission tune so that should give me quicker shifts so if you guys want to see that stick along also there's not many f10 builds on youtube so i thought i'd give it a shot and yeah let's do a little walk around here for you guys it did already come with a 25 percent tint all around also i did get the same n55 badge that i had on my 135 from my friends at New Jersey Beamers. I think it looks really nice. Has a nice touch to the rear. As well as this M Performance frame cover. For the rear, I do plan on getting a carbon fiber diffuser as well as quad tips. Back here, I do want to get a high kick spoiler. I'm just not sure of which one yet. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would appreciate it. As for the front here, I do want to tint the headlights and I wanted to maybe just tint this area leaving this so let me know in the comments below what you guys think would look better um, I do also plan on getting a front lip and it already did come with these black kidney grills so I'm gonna leave that alone as far as the interior um, it is very clean it did come with 74k miles so far I did install this red push start button and I did hardwire my passport radar works great so if I start her up for the interior I do want to get the LCI M Sport wheel this one is a bit bulky in my opinion also I did install this pop socket holder it does come with 3M double tape, so if you guys have pop socket, it in just like that. If you guys want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below, as well as the link for the start button and for the hardwire kit. Also quickly to interrupt the video, I want to show you guys this really cool smart wallet that my friends over at extra sent me out this is the one that i got and let's go ahead and show you guys what comes inside this box so if you guys might have seen this cool design it does come with this little button here that clicking it pops out all of our cards and opening up we do have some card slots here as well as this band here for cash it is really nicely built I like the little emblem here in gold. And we can store up to six cards up here. So overall a really cool and modern wallet. But to make it even better, they do sell this additional smart card. So here's what it looks like out of the box. So here is the wallet with the smart card. I'm gonna simply put mine back here and set this aside. And if I ever lose my wallet, all I do is simply go into their app and hit 
ring. Just like that. And it works vice versa. In case if I lose my phone, if I can find the button here. So yeah, if you guys want to upgrade your wallet um, and you guys want to track it, I recommended this to all my friends. This is a really good wallet overall. And I highly recommend you guys also get the tracker card. It's a really nice feature. And yeah, back to the video. For this part of the video, I did want to include these really cool floor mats that are made by Custa Armor. These are really easy to install and they come in a variety of colors as well as designs which are fully customizable. They do come with these clips that fold out. I did go with the black on black stitching, looks really nice in the car. And these are really easy to clean. So if you guys do want to pick up a set, I highly recommend them. 